first Derby Heat win, of course, provided by Dean Ridge Boffin, owned by Ray Dean and Paul Surridge, running out of trap one. Trap two, led up by son of the champion trainer. We're talking, of course, Dan Wallace. Mark Wallace trains Black Farron, who runs out of the blue box for the Lionheart Syndicate. Plenty of them in the house tonight. I've seen Martin Johnson. I've seen Paul Ephraimson. I've seen Dave Lawrence. And, of course, Mark Wallace involved as well. Sporting Dave. Dave Dyer is in the house as well. And, uh, of course, very much on his toes is Sporting Dave, led up by Teresa Cahill, trained by her husband. Running out of trap four is Droopy's expert, trained by Angela Harrison and, I think, bred, uh, and I should say, bred by the Dumfries, paraded, I think, by Angela as well. Running out of trap five is Crossfield Giles, another one of Seamus Cahill's runners for the Crossfield Seven, Matt Sharp and the crew, Kevin uh, Wilkes and the team, and King Kid running out of trap six. Liz and Rab McNair, I can see the guys in the house. Baz Knight, Simon Senek, Brendan Keogh, and uh, Rab McNair once again. The man who stands proud with the biggest smile in Greyhound Racing parades, King Kid, who was brilliant, of course, in his heat. They're going to be heading to traps very, very shortly. You've got the, the view from the drone high above the Northamptonshire countryside streaming towards the pitches that Barry R. Johnson and Ben Keith and Staff Sports are operating tonight. I think punters, two bookmakers, two possibly. The favourite, though, running out of trap four, which is Droopy's expert, of course, for Angela Harrison. Now just a shade of odds against... Yep, Daryl Williams, I think, with Droopy's expert. Daryl, shout out. Can you hear Daryl? I think you need batteries in your microphone. But uh, I've met Rich Hare, so I've got to see Rich. You stand by. Don't leave my side. I've got a thousand pounds in readies, which could be going uh, to you. And uh, of course, we've got the Champagne Club in the house, and there's a, a fantastic presentation that has just been made by the members. A rather large check to the White family. Charlie's Angels, of course, the, uh, the, the, the charity that, uh, of course, the Champagne Club and others support, and uh, a fantastic gesture, Mrs. White. Yes, it was, and I can't thank them enough for all they do for our charity, brain tumour research for children and under 40s. Fantastic. Well, that's a, a kind gesture and lovely to see Mr. and Mrs. Uh, White here, who, of course, a charity named after uh, their late grandson, uh, Charlie. And Charlie's Angels, well done to the Champagne Club, Steve Fluent, and all the guys and the girls here uh, tonight. The hospitality, I think, is full to brimming up top. One or two familiar faces, which I'll try to grab very shortly. But the runners approaching the traps for the Star Sports English Derby plate. Let's go to Andy Lismore and Dave Clark. They're milling, boys. Thanks, Obzi. Yeah, not long till close time now, mate, for this uh, Star Sports 2018 English Derby plate. Clarky, your late thoughts here then? Well, if you are taking the 11 or 10 on offer about Angela Harrison's classy Droopy's expert, you'll be looking for a fast start because he's flanked by pace here. Sporting Dave Trappy, bundles of early speed, Crossville Giles. He'll be moving in, so a good draw for six. If four is foot perfect at the boxes, class will out here, no doubt. He won the All England Cup last year, which is, of course, the big race of the year up at Newcastle. And uh, he did the business for connections there. They'll be hoping can gain some compensation Andy for that first round exit of the Greyhound derby but if you're with the favourite you're looking for a fast start. Absolutely, Drupal's expert was sensational at Nottingham back on the 14th of May and equally good in the heats of this derby plate competition as well, didn't see his best on the derby, there's 11 to 10 chance now, for some consolation in this derby plate, they're all loaded then for race number five on your card tonight, it's here with the flag, the low six hair is on the move for the Star Sports 2018 English derby plate Favourite in four then, Drupal's expert, stand by. Running up behind the boxes. 
Our fan racing away as a flyer from five. Crossfield Giles leads up for Seamus Kay. Already three lengths clear of three in a second. Sporting Dave Seamus is the other runner. Round this first bend, we go. Then also bother out the back. And it's Seamus' one two that lead. Crossfield Giles from Kenway. Sporting Dave. Sporting Dave. They're going to challenge his Kenway. Crossfield Giles on the charge this third bend. Two into third place. Black Farron off the final corner. They swing now, though. Still Crossfield Giles. Absolutely bolded from the boxes and still leads up this final turn from Sporting Dave. Back in second. Two making progress in third. Black Farron towards the judge, though. Crossfield Giles makes all. 5 3 2. In this Star Sports 2018 English Derby plate, Crossfield Joel's away and gone. Clarkey, what do you make of that early pace? Wow, whoosh, away and gone. And we heard from owner Dave Lawrence, a member of that Crossfield 7. And Dave mentioned that we'd not quite seen the best of him to the corner. We did tonight. He got the fast start. He moved in, but it was irrelevant. He outtrapped those inside him and he was away and gone. Look at the flash of the orange jacket out in the boxes. Drupal's expert looking to pace up, couldn't get round. Sporting Dave in trap three. Six with a good draw out wide, but tangling and more tangling out the back of the favourite out the shot. And it was the Carhill duo of Crossfield Giles in the orange jacket. And Sporting Dave giving chase, who did chase so, so hard out that second bend. Black Farron staying on as well, but the damage was done early on. Crossfield Giles got that smash break. He was away and gone. Great performance that. Yeah, he's got a history here on Derby final night is Seamus Cahill. He's had the 1-2 then here in the Star Sports 2018 English Derby plate. Be interested to see what the sectional was for Crossfield Giles there. 29-14, the winning time, 2 9 one, four. There's your winner on screen now, then Crossfield Giles. Whoosh, as you say, Clarkie. That was the word to describe it. Whoosh, away and gone. And it was a decent field. He's three lengths clear at the sectional point. Well, as you say, we, we had the, uh, the 4 one split a little bit earlier on, and it'll be interesting to see... or what the split's going to be here for the 500 metres. It was all about the start. You can see five moving in and three moving off. It was a tough draw for Droopy's expert. He wasn't snappy enough from the boxes to overcome it. But Crossfield Giles was away and gone. That dazzling early served him well. And they gave chase. Kennel mate Sporting Dave gave chase, but he dug deep and saw out the trip very, very well. £3,000 on the trophy off to the Crossfield seven. What a great success for the team behind last year's Derby champion, Astute Missile. They haven't just supplied the winner of the English Derby plate. They have the second as well. It's success for Crossfield Giles, who's beaten his kennel mate, Sporting Dave. A very proud moment for all concerned. And here we go, the owners there. Big cheers, Lee. Steve Bridger and, uh, and Scott and uh, Dave Lawrence as well. And they're off to the presentation podium. And no doubt they uh, exactly enjoy. You've, you've done well because I know there was one or two late comers as well. So they got here in time and they're going to go off and, uh, and uh, enjoy the trophy presentation there. And uh, very much it was, it seemed, Seamus Cahill behind us as well. He's off, uh, of course, it's a path, a familiar path that he has trod, of course, 12 months ago. He was doing exactly the same walk, uh, uh, chasing home a Stuart missile as, as the presentation. Damien Teven comes down, Peter comes down and uh, uh, they're kicking on the right people. Are, are going to the presentation. Not quite a free-for-all, I can assure you of, of that, but... Uh...